welcome dear students in the previous lecture we learned the basic of practice set 2.3 that means concept of search simple form of search then like search unlike search and comparison of the two search now we have to start with practice set 2.3 see the question number first one is given state the order of the search given below state the order of the search given below so question number first search are given and from that we have to find out the order of given search i write here first one it is cube root of 7 as in a previous lecture we know that the nth root of a is equal to x and x is a irrational number then it is called as a search in this case we say that this n is called as a order this a is called as a radicand now by using this we have to solve this here cube root of 7 and we have to only define the degree of this sorry order of the search here cube root of 7 here in the place of n the number is a 3 therefore order of g1 search is very easy second one is there pi square root of 12 here one factor is a 1 in this set the second factor is a 5 we did not have to consider that we have to see the order of the sets here in place of n there is a no any number therefore this type of this sets have order 2 therefore order of given set is 2 then see the third one it is fourth root of 10 fourth one is there it is square root of 39 and the fifth one is it is third root of 80 dear student it is very easy to find out the order in exam the question is for one marks or in mcq such type of questions will be there we have to just identify the order here fourth root of 10 fourth root of 10 therefore order is a 4 here square root of 39 here it is 2 therefore the order of the set is a 2 and here it is cube root of 18 that is order is 3 we have to write just only like this order of b1 set is 4 here order of b1 set is 2 and here order is 3 i think very easy everyone understood this how to find out the order of the given sets let's see the second question state which of the following are sets and justify i think everyone understood you have to write this in your notebook see the second sum question is given we have to question is state which of the following are the sets and justify we have to decide whether given expression is a set or not for that purpose 
in the previous lecture i have explained you that is nth root of a is x and x is a irrational number then the given expression is a search in that case this n is a positive integers greater than 1 this n must be a greater than 1 what it this then a is a positive real number and last and most important thing this x must be a irrational number some example we learn suppose i write here this square root of 4 here order is 2 it is a positive integer greater than 1 here it is positive real number s yes, and but square root of 4 is a 2 and 2 is a rational number and therefore it is not a such but i if i write this square root of 3 we can't find out the square root of 3 therefore it is a irrational number and therefore it is a such all this we have to follow to define whether it is a such or not Here, cube root of fifty-one. First of all, order that is n. N is a positive integer. Yes, it is positive integer greater than one. Second thing is that fifty-one is a positive real number. Yes, a is a positive real number. But square cube root of fifty-one is not a rational number. It is a irrational number, and therefore we say that this is a such. For that purpose, this n is equal to three. Is a, uh, or we can write like this: n is equal to three, a is equal to fifty-one, and cube root of fifty-one is an irrational number. Therefore, cube root of fifty-one is a such. I think everyone understood. n is equal to 3 is a positive integer greater than 1 a is a positive real number and cube root of 51 is an irrational number therefore cube root of 51 is a such see the next one here fourth root of 16 now fourth root of 16 here we can write the answer that is n is equal to 4 order is a 4 Then a is equal to sixteen. That is, sixteen is a positive real number. And last and most important property that is, cube root of sixteen is a irrational or rational number that we have to define. Dear student, see here, fourth root of sixteen. If we simplify this, we can write like this. It is fourth root of sixteen. Fourth root of sixteen means. Here we can write here two into two into two into two. Sixteen we can factorize this two into two into two into two. Now, dear students, we can write here four, and here it is two raised to four. And order is same. Order is four, and the index is same. Then the answer is a two. That means we get here fourth root of sixteen is a two. That is fourth root of sixteen is a two, but this two is not a irrational number. That means we can write here here fourth root of sixteen is two. Therefore, we can say that fourth root of sixteen is not an irrational number. Therefore, fourth root of sixteen is not Oh, sir. Remember this. Fourth root of sixteen, we get the answer that is two, and two is not a real, two is not a irrational number, and this third property is not followed, and therefore it is not a sir. Try to understand this. Now see the third one. It is very important in an exam. Too much question is there, and you have to solve this because it is very easy. 
it is fifth root of 81 then it is fourth one is there we will see later on fourth one it is 256 now see fifth root of 81 here n is equal to 5 which is a positive real number positive integer greater than 1 then a is equal to 81 it is positive real number and can anyone tell me we find out the fifth root of 81 see the factors 81 it is 3 27 then 3 9 the 3 3 the and 3 1 the that means if we multiply 3 with 4 times we get the 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81 here fifth root we have to find out therefore it is an fifth root of 81 is an irrational number therefore fifth root of 81 is a square now square root of 256 now dear student all of you know that the square root of 256 it is 16 therefore very easy here n is equal to 2 a is equal to 256 and square root of 256 is equal to 16 therefore square root of 256 is not is not an irrational number therefore square root of 256 is not a subs. very easy you have to do the practice then the fifth and sixth one we have to see see the third root of 64 and it is square root of 22 upon 7 in this case <coughs> now third root of 64 first of all we have to write tell me order is 3 then a is equal to 64 two properties are get followed now cube root of 64 cube root of 64 now dear student if we factorize this 64 then can we find out c here 4 16 4 za then 4 then 4 that means square root uh, cube of 4 is 64 that means cube root of 64 is a 4 Got it? Cube root of 64 is a 4 and therefore we say that cube root of 64 is not an irrational number and therefore cube root of 64 is not a and the last one is square root of 22 upon 7 in this case n is equal to 2 a is equal to 22 upon 7 and square root of 27 is an irrational number therefore square root of 22 upon 7 is a circle yes student second question is completed we decide whether the given uh, expression is a search or not with justification or that means we give the reason for that. Dear student, let's start with the third question. Question is 
classify the given pair of sets into like sets and unlike sets dear student we uh, some sets are given and we have to decide whether the given sets are like or unlike sets in a previous lecture i have explained you suppose 2 cube root 3 and 5 square root of 3 if these two sets are given and in these two sets if we have to decide whether they are like or unlike we have to see the order of the sets when order of the sets are same here order is 2 in this case the order is also 2 and second condition we have to follow that we have to see the radicand here radicand is 3 here also radicand is 3 when order are same and radicand are same then that sets are called as a like sets suppose i write here suppose i write here 2 and in this case the order is same but the radicand are not same therefore this and this two sets are unlike set same we have to see here first of all for that purpose if given sets is given that we have to try to write it in a simple form without writing in a simple form we can't compare now see here it is square root of 52 and second set is 5 root 30 now here root 52 and this 5 square root, uh, square root of 30 in this case here 13 is there this is prime number it can simplify or it can factorize therefore we have to simplify this 52 now we have to write in a simple form for that purpose we have to factorize this 52 now dear student we can factorize this like 52 factorize 2 it is 26 and here it is 30 now dear student see here 30 on the 30 this 4 into 30 in this case 4 is a perfect square and 13 is a prime number therefore we can factorize this 4 into 30 now order is 2 and here it is square root of 30 Now square root of four is a two root thirty. That means square root of fifty two is a two root thirty. Now compare the second one. It is five root thirty, and here it is root fifty two means root fifty two means five. Sorry, two square root of thirty. Now see here. We have to compare this. What we have to compare? Two root thirteen and five root thirteen. In this case, order is two. Here it is order is two. Radicand is thirteen. Radicand is thirteen. Therefore, both have the same order and same radicand. Therefore, we can write here two root thirteen and five root thirteen are. like sets we can write here 2 root 13 means it is root 52 and 5 root 13 are like sets i think everyone understood this let's see the next one here root 68 and 5 root 3 order is 2 here it is order is 2 one condition is followed now we have to see the second condition 68 and here it is 3 we can't factor we have to write this simple form of this root 68 it is in a simple form but this we have to write it in a simple form and for that purpose we write here 60 root 68 now tell me the factors of root 68 now see here Uh, 68, two threes are, and two fours are. Then here it is two, and here it is seventeen, and seventeen ones are seventeen. That means we can factorize four into seventeen, and four into seventeen four is a perfect square. 
therefore dear student we can write here 4 into 17 square root of 4 into square root of 17 square root of 4 is a 2 root 17 that means root 68 is same as that 2 root 17 now here we have to compare this put it now see here 2 root 17 and 5 root 3 now see the order order is same here radicand is 13 and here radicand is a 3 therefore we can write both have the same order but radicand is not same therefore we say that 2 root 13 means root 68 and 5 root 13 are unlike cells. Let's see the next one. In that, see, you must have to write in a simple form. Without writing simple form, you can't uh, decide whether they are like or unlike. Here, if we just observe, order is same, but radicant are not same. But after simplification, we come to know that both radicant and both order are same, therefore they are like sets. Now see here, 4 root 18 and 7 root 2. Here, we have to simplify this 4 root 18. It is simple thing. Here, we can 9 to the, and 9 is a square root of 9 and square root of 2. It is 4 into 3 into root 2 it is 12 root 2 now 4 root 18 is equal to 12 root 2 therefore we can say 12 root 2 and 7 root 2 this 12 root 2 means 4 root 18 now see here order is same radicant is also same therefore 4 root 18 and 7 root 2 are like such student it is very easy but unless and until you can't write it in a simple form you can't decide whether they are like sets or unlike sets let's see the next one the fourth one is there 19 root 12 and 6 root 3 then fifth one is 5 root 22 and 7 root 33 and the sixth one is there 5 root 5 and root 75 now let's see whether they are like or unlike such for that purpose 19 root 12 we have to simplify this 19 root 12 and 6 root 3 here we have to simplify this 19 it is very simple no need to explain it it is 4 into 3 therefore 19 into root 4 into root 3 19 into square root of 4 is a 2 root 3 it is 38 root 3 this is 19 root 12 38 root 3 and this 6 root 3 now see here 38 root 3 and 6 root 3 in this case this 13 root 3 means 19 root 12 and 6 root 3 are like Sense. important thing is you must have to write it in a simple form second one is there fifth one is there 5 root 22 and 7 root 33 in this case try to write it in a simple form now see if we write in a simple form we get the factor 11 into 2 11 is not a perfect square 2 is not a perfect square here the factors are 11 into 3 
that 11 into 3 in that case also 3 is not a perfect square 11 is not a perfect square therefore we can't simplify this it is the simple form only and in this case we got the order is same but the radicand are not same therefore we say that pi root 22 are unlike such now see the next one pi root 5 and it is root 75 this is simple form but we have to convert this root 75 in a simple form root 75 tell me the factors of root 75 it is 25 into 3 now 25 into 3 root 3 it is pi root 3 that means root 75 means pi root 3 and root pi root 5 therefore we can say that pi root 5 and pi root 3 in this case order is same but radicand is different and therefore are unlike such dear student <clears throat> if you have to decide whether the search are like search or unlike search you must have to write it in a simple form without writing the simple form you can't decide whether they are like search or unlike search therefore that purpose you must have to know how to factorize this now we have to start with question number four. see the question number fourth one simplify the following search simplify search are given and we have to simplify that root 27 as in a previous sum also we simplify similarly see the order in this year we have to so uh, we have to see the sets of order 2 only quadratic sets order is 2 factorize this 27 as one factor should be perfect square why perfect square because order is a 2 therefore Dear yes, student, it is very easy. All of you know that 9, 3 is a. In this 9, 3 is a, 9 is a perfect square. And therefore, we write here cube root, square root of 9 into square root of 3. And square root of 9 is 3. It is 3 root 3. Therefore, simple form or root 27 is equal to 3 root 3. It is very easy. Now, 50. 50. We have to factorize this 50. Order is 2. Therefore, 25 into 2. Now, dear student, square root of 25 into square root of 2. Very easy. Now, square root of 25 is 5 root 2. Therefore, we can say that root 50 is equal to Pi root 2. While writing this pi, you must have to be careful. If you write this pi here, then it will get the order. Therefore, while writing the another factor of the search, you must have to be careful. Here it is 250. Dear yes, student, this is also very simple thing. Here 250 means 25 into 10. In this case, we get the 25 as a perfect square. Therefore, simplify this root 25 into root 10. Then, square root of 25 is 5 root 10. Therefore, square root of 250 is equal to 5 root 10. Now, we have to see the root 112. Now these are simple things, small things and they are simplified very easily. This is also very easy but we can we have to factorize this and for that purpose it is 1, 1, 2. Can we factorize this? Yes. First 2, 2, 5 are 10 and 2, 6 are. Now here, here 2, again we can 2, 2 is a 4, 2 is a 
then we can factorize this 2 into 14 now dear student this is 112 and we required what we required square root can we factorize this again the yes it is 7 and it is 7 on the side now see if we multiply this 4 this is 4 then 4 4 16 that means we get here 16 into 7 16 into 7 here 16 is a perfect square and this 7 therefore directly we can write here 16 into 7 square root of 16 into square root of 7 square root of 16 is a 4 root 7 therefore root 112 is equal to 4 root 7 try to factorize like this it is easy to find out the factors now this is 168 square root of 168 again we have to factorize this order is 2 now dear students see here 2 hexa and 2 forza now here it is 2 to forza and 2 to the 4 now see here here it is 2 to the and 2 1 the then here it is 3 7 the and 7 now dear student here if I take this 2 to the 4 then we get 4 as a perfect square and this we get as 42 if we take this then 2 2 2 it is 6 and 21 6 and 21 no one is a perfect square then if we take this 21 into 7 then also it is not possible therefore we have to take 4 into 42 therefore 4 into 42 now square root of 4 and square root of 42 square root of 4 is 2 root 44 therefore dear student 168 is equal to 2 root 42 now we have to start with the next question let's see the question number fifth one compare the following pair of the cells cells are given and we have to compare and now for comparison of the cells you must know we have to see the order first order must be same and second we have to see the radicand if order is same then we have to see the radicand now see the first sum here it is first third is given 7 root 2 now as in a previous question that is like search or unlike search or in a simple form or while writing the simple now here we have to take this second factor of this search into under radical sign and then we have to compare the search now see here 7 root 2 in this case the second factor is a 7 and that 7 we have to take under radical sign and then we have to compare and for that purpose what we have to do we have to consider the order order is a 2 therefore this 7 we write here and make the square of this why we write it square because order is 2 and then we write here the 2 now everyone understood this why i write here 7 square and now square of 7 is 49 into this 2 and we get here under root 98 in this case dear student see 7 root 2 we take out this 7 under radical sign it is 7 square we write it square because order is a 2 and square 7 square into 2 is equal to square of 7 is 49 into 2 and it is 98 similarly <coughs> we have to see the second search it is 5 root 3 now similarly order is a 2 and therefore this 5 we have to take under radical sign and make the square of this why i write square because order is a 2 now multiply with this 3 then we get here 25 into 3 this 5 square is 25 and this 3 as it is we get here 75 now 7 root 2 and root 98 are equal 5 root 3 and root 75 both are same 
now we have to compare now when we have to compare see now root 98 and here it is root 75 order is same under radical sign which number is a greater one 98 therefore we say here root 98 is greater than root 75 but while writing the while writing the final answer this root 98 means 7 root 2 is greater than 5 root 3 dear student see here 7 root 2 we have to convert it into root 98 order is 2 this 5 root 3 we convert as a root 75 and then we have to compare this because order is same order is same then we have to see the radical which radicand is greater one 98 and 75 98 is greater one therefore root 98 is greater than root 75 and therefore 7 root 2 is greater than 5 root 3 now see the next one here root 47 and root 247 and root 274 here second factor is a 1 here also second factor is a 1 therefore we did not have to write it in a another form therefore we can directly say that here 247 and 274 which one is a greater one 274 is greater one and therefore directly we write 247 is less than 274 now see the next here it is 2 root 7 now in this case in this case 2 root 7 and root 28 is given now here another factor is a 1 therefore we did not have to convert it into the simple form just we have to leave as it is but with this we have to convert this 2 root 7 dear student this 2 we have to write under radical sign and while writing under radical sign we have to make the square why we have to write it square because order is a now into this 7 as it is then we get here square of 2 is 4 and this into 7 put it here it is root 28 that means see here 2 root 7 is converted as a root 28 and the second comparison search is a root 28 now we can write here root 28 and here it is root 28 both are equal and this root 28 means 2 root 7 is equal to root 28 that means both sorts are the same sorts now this one the third one same way 5 root 5 now i think you can solve this we have to take out this 5 under radical sign therefore dear student it will be a phi square now here we have to write this phi. Tell me the square of phi. It is 25 into phi. And 25 into phi is 125. See the second one. 7 root 2. Now you are very smart. Can you tell me this? 7 square of 7. Yes, it is square of 7 into 2. Then square of 7 is 49 into 2 and dear student 49 into 2 is 98 now compare this to root 125 and root 98 in this case which one is a greater one 125 and 98 125 is greater one and therefore root 125 means sorry root 125 means pi root pi is greater than is greater than 7 root 2 i think everyone understood this <coughs> see in a question number fifth we saw the four sum now we have to see the remaining three they are also very easy See, if you do the practice, then and only then you can solve the sums. Otherwise, you are not able to solve the sums. <coughs> See, the question number 5th one. 
in the question number fifth one it is 4 root 42 and 9 root then here it is 6 1 it is 5 root 3 and here it is 9 now see the seventh one it is 7 and 2 root 5 now see this 4 root 42 and 9 root 2 now in this case we have to simplify this first of all 4 root 42 tell me the factors factors that means we have to take out this 4 under radical sign that is 4 and square into 42 now dear student square of 4 is a 16 into this 42 now divide multiply this this is a Six hundred and seventy-two. Now, four root forty-two means six hundred and seventy-two. Now, nine root two. In this case, see this nine. We have to take under radical sign. It get nine square into two, and square of nine is eighty-one into two, and here it is one hundred and sixty-two. Now, see this. We have to compare this root 672 and root 162. In this case, root 672 is greater than root 162, and therefore 672 means 4 root 42 is greater than 9 root 2. See the next one here pi root. 3 and 9. Now for this comparison, see 5 order is 2. This 5 we have to take under radical sign. Therefore, dear student, it will be a 5 square into this 3 as it is now. It is 25 into 3 and 25 into 3 means it is 75. Now this 9 is there. Now this 9 is equal to 9 means it is root c here this 9 we have to compare this 5 root 3 and it is 9 this 9 means under root 81 now this we have to compare this now see here root 75 and root 81 now root 81 and this root 75 here root 75 is less than root 81 now root 75 means 5 root 3 and 81 root 81 means it is 9 therefore 5 root 3 is less than 9 this is the comparison between these two numbers now see the same same thing is here 5 root 3 and 9 we convert this 9 into root 81. Similarly, this 7 we have to convert it into the under root. Therefore, 7 is equal to if we take under the uh, radical sign, then it will be a 7 square and therefore it is 49. Now, see the second sign, it is 2 root 5 and 2 root 5 means here it is this we have to take under radical sign that means square of 2 into 5 square of 2 is 4 into 5 and here it is 20 now see root 49 and root 20 which one is a greater one order is same 49 and 20 49 is greater one therefore we write 7 is greater than 2 root 5 dear yes, student everyone understood this now go through this video again and again try to solve the remaining sum the sum related with this 
which are in a problem set that we have to write it in your notebook this sum also you have to write it in your notebook thank you